Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Now, it looks very peaceful here today, very soporific at the modern day princess apartments. In fact, the princesses and the Lego Friends girls have gathered. They're having cups of tea. They're basically, oh, and coffee as well, and maybe a few little mocktails. But they have basically gathered because they heard that I have got some pretty cool and they love it they, they just love it because they get to play dress up because I've got an entire set of the new Lego minifigures these ones are series 19 so let's crack one open let's have a look what's inside let's have a look at the little pamphlet -y thing which shows us all the choices that we have okay so I'm not interested yet in what character we've got let's have a look at our little our cheat sheet here a collectible sheet so lots and lots of cool choices oh look at the green rubber ducky and the shower cap Oh, and a pizza guy, and there's a poop, there's a dog poop, oh, and a Care Bear. That's, that, is that a Care Bear? Would that be copyrighted? Might be. <laughs> anyway, let's see what character we've got here first. This guy's got a little Space Invader keychain on his pants. I know who this is. This is the gamer dude. Oh, and he's got two faces. He's got the smug winning face and the cranky losing face. So let's put his losing face on. We'll put his green hair <laughs> with a headset. He's totally ready to game, but he's not going well. So he's playing this new game, this space game on Playbox, <laughs> like PlayStation or Xbox. No copyright infringement here. And he's got he's got a controller as well. This controller's cool. Sad we've only got one though. Who's he gonna play with? He's gonna have to play by himself. However, Daniel is here because Daniel wants to play this new space game. He's gonna pinch all his stuff. And we're going to take <laughs> take the game of dude stuff. We're gonna put it on the mini dolls. And I think Daniel's gonna suit this so well. So here you go, Daniel. Here's the space game. Hopefully, look at the big grin on Daniel. He knows he's gonna be good at this game. Or even if he's not good at the game, he's still gonna have lots and lots of fun playing it. Is that the cyborg like from one of the other minifigure series? On the actual cover of that oh, that game that's cool that's such oh although we're knocking people over wow gamer dude looks cranky let's remove gamer dude before he gets even more cranky that we've taken his game and let's look at what's in the next bag so the gamer dude was excellent let's see what we've got here or who we've got here got some this looks like an emergency services outfit is this is a lady that's cool so she's got, this is even more cool. I love this helmet with the blonde hair and a nice big loud hailer as well. So she's a firefighter. Hmm, a firefighter with blonde hair. Oh, Elsa. Elsa would be perfect for this because she can fight the fire with her ice. So this is kind of ironical, but maybe not. Get that loud heller out of people's ears. That's terrible. So let's make Elsa the firefighter, but the clothes have got to be changed. So going to see what I've got that might work. These boots will be okay, I think, for fighting fires. They look protected. And this is the same color scheme, the orange and the green as the firefighter's top. So this will do okay. And now we've just got to take her hair, which I think is going to look, oh, the firefighter looks good with Elsa's hair, but Elsa looks even better with the firefighter's hair. Look at that bun at the back. That is the best hairstyle. Right, now Elsa's got, <laughs> got the loud hailer, so watch out. Oh, that's loud. Firefighter looks unimpressed. She's off to fight some fires. Elsa's been left on her own with her new outfit and some smudgy bits on her pants. That's all right, they'll come off eventually. Elsa looks cool as a firefighter. Right, new profession for Elsa. She's gonna hang out with Daniel. We're gonna see what's in the next bag. <laughs> all right, uh, pants, we've got pants, <laughs> obviously. And this looks like a sports outfit. Is it a sports outfit or like a gym clothes? Oh. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, this helmet has not been protecting this guy very much. He's all battered up. He's playing rugby. Okay, I'm not surprised. He needs a bit more protection on that helmet. That helmet's rubbish. It's not going to... That rugby ball's... Oh, that ball is fantastic. He can actually hold it. Oh, that's so cool. Right. Stephanie is totally in on this, though. I think Stephanie's got a soccer outfit. Soccer and rugby, are, they're like the same, aren't they? They're both games with balls. Please don't crucify me. <laughs> They're different games. Ah, I just love teasing people who like sports a lot. So, all right. So she's got her soccer outfit on, but she's going to use it to play rugby because <laughs> you can totally do that. And <laughs> and she's going to have the ball, which I think is so cool. All right. So let's see. Okay. So no, further out. Let's pass it. Let's pass it to the rugby player with Stephanie's hair. And further away and further away, I'll pass it to you. Ah, ah. Ah, psych. Okay, so she wasn't ever going to pass that to him because she's got the ball now and she's not letting it go. <laughs> oh, they look so cute all dressed up. Right, let me see. 
That's a, that's sort of shield. So we've got some. Oh, check out that chainmail on this guy. Are his hands like minty color? Uh, we're going to be covering the chainmail with an enormous piece of armor. This is a fright knight, and he looks kind of like a ghost, or maybe he's icy too. He definitely looks cold. He's all blue, and his swords are blue. There's two swords. That's really useful. So two swords and two little blue plumes as well. That's the little blue thing that's coming out of his helmet. And he's got his... Oh yeah, okay, he's got his shield. So who's going to be the Fright Knight? Maybe Ariel? No, oh, because it kind of looks watery. And Ariel just... She likes a challenge. She <laughs> It's going to be a challenge to try and get her to look like the Fright Knight. So these clothes will not do. So let me see. I don't think we've got anything that even resembles like armor at all in the mini doll outfits, but let's see what, how we go. Let's choose these pants because I like the most big splash of red. And one of the gray tops that I actually painted, <laughs> it's going to be covered anyway. And let's, let's, uh, let's put his hair, her hair on the Fright Night. <laughs> and let's see if the helmet actually fits on. Oh, that's actually really cute. <laughs> With the visor on there, it's not very straight. <laughs> okay, so she's got the blue sword now. <laughs> and the look, see, the red in her boots is going to match. She can't hold that shield. All right. She looks significantly taller now because she's got that helmet on, like really tall. Let's get this. So let's use this little claw piece here. And this is going to enable her to be able to actually hold hold the, the shield. There we go. See, look, I was trying to say before that her boots and the colors on the shield actually match nicely. So I think that works okay. I think she looks all right as a Fright Knight and he can have the extra, he can have the extra little plume and the sword and they can have a fight. Let's have a fight with the, the swords look brittle. And I think that Ariel won, but we might have, we might have rigged that a bit. So Ariel can go over here as her little Fright Knight. We'll see what's in here next. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's look, this guy's got bubbles to protect his modesty so he's got little bubble knickers <laughs> but he actually gets a towel <laughs> oh that's so cute so he gets a towel with rubber ducky motif all around the bottom and he's got okay so he's been in the bath or maybe he's going in the bath he's got all oh, blushy <laughs> he's, the, he, well let's put the embarrassed face on or he could have had the other face where he's like, really happy to be here this could be his hairbrush but he's got no hair could be his scrubbing brush and i love this shower cap but I love the green rubber ducky so much more. I keep trying to make it squeak. It doesn't squeak. <laughs> so now we've got yellow rubber duckies and green rubber duckies. This is adorable. Oh, okay. So I have actually got a naked torso, like a top torso here with no shirt on from the, from the resort set. And we can use this for the towel down the bottom. That's perfect. We need some rubber ducky motifs. And I thought we'd put a really comical face on this guy too. And I reckon this is what his hair looks like when he comes out, like after it's been tailed off. Don't you think? I think that'd be right but let's swap it over so let's take all these things off off this guy maybe not his towel and swap the hair over see that's what happens after it's been tailed off <laughs> and now he can have the shower cap oh my goodness that is so cute and the green rubber ducky they can have the scrubbing brush in the other hand and now now we've got a mini doll now now a mini doll version but maybe i'm gonna try out try out this bath towel see if i can't it's i think it's gonna look ridiculous but i still just have to try <laughs> i have to try i'm very trying okay so let's see if i can get all these little bits over the top now it looks really bulky but towels look really bulky maybe not that bulky <laughs> but that little rubber ducky motif is so cute i'm sorry we stole your modesty towel you, you better run away and find another one because we're keeping this one <laughs> that is so adorable i think all the others are looking at him though <laughs> maybe they just all want his rubber ducky let's see what's in the next bag this is so much fun all right so we got pants with some pockets on the front got an explorer type outfit with a little red kerchief got a backpack with a bedroll and wow that is a, that is a fancy mustache all right so this guy is an explorer nope oh, hats on backwards and he looks kind of like indiana jones but he's got the best chameleon check out this chameleon I, I hate to say this but i think this is so much better than the friends chameleon oh i hope pascal didn't hear that they're just different they're different but i like this one so much well if there's a chameleon it's gonna have to be rapunzel and pascal so where are you rapunzel you can now be an explorer and pascal you can 
okay. <laughs> I like the new chameleon, it's so cute. Let's see if we can make Rapunzel look like an explorer, like a jungle explorer. Ha! <laughs> jungle explorer looks great with Rapunzel hair. Gonna need a new outfit though. So we're going to steal that from Flynn. I see, Flynn, you're useful for lots of things. Let's take his head off, let's swap him over. And look, now Rapunzel needs the backpack, so we need to put her, put that on first before we put her head on. And now we can put the hat on, and Rapunzel is a certified jungle explorer with a brand new microscope. Nope, magnifying glass, because it's not a microscope. And a really cute chameleon. And Pascal and the other jungle explorer are going to wander off somewhere else. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. She looks really, really good. Okay, next bag. <laughs> next bag. I really, really want to find these dog poops though. This is not the dog poop ba bag. Bag, 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 bag. Not the dog poop bag because I can see a big bike frame there. So this is the biking lady. Mountain biking lady. She's got a really slick new outfit. And she's got two faces. Let's put the sunglasses one forward and new hair piece with the hair flying out the back. Ha! <laughs> that is cool. All right. Mountain bike. Let's put the wheels on. I think the green one of these came in the one of the adventure, like the people packs, the one in the in the woods. This is really cool. All right, so let's put this lady on here and she can, <laughs> she's got a band-aid on her elbow. Oh my goodness, it's on the other elbow. Okay, so she's obviously taken some tumbles. This is gonna be Mia's bag, totally. Okay, so Mia is really, really, really keen to try this out. So let's see if we've got some outfits for Mia which might match this. Maybe these pants kind of look like, like biking leggings and this top will do okay. There's no coral tops, like that vibrant coral top. So pink and blue is going to have to be as close as we can go to match here. But I think that does okay. I think that looks all right. So let's swap them over and let's put this hairpiece on. <laughs> she looks adorable. She looks kind of like Raggedy Ann now. <laughs> I don't know why she looks like Raggedy Ann and oh she doesn't get on that mountain bike very comfortably and because her hands don't turn she's not gonna be able to hold on either that's okay it's not going to stop her she's not gonna let a little detail like hands not being able to turn stop her did she just kick that bike over wow that is not very sporting but we did steal all her outfit and her bike so maybe that was justified right <laughs> let's see what's in the next bag there are 16 characters all up and it's the Care Bear! It's totally a Care Bear. Look at these, look at these colours! <laughs> it's like a rainbow just vomited on this little outfit. It's so cute. I love this face. There's two faces and I love this little mask. Oh, and a rainbow, <gasps> a rainbow tile. And, oh, okay. So we can put that on the front there and these little hearts in vibrant coral now. Brand new colour! That does not balance on the ear. So we've got a spare heart, which is brilliant. Oh my goodness. All right. So I think, where's Andrea hiding? Oh, she's reading a book over in Belle's little sunroom there. Put the book down, Andrea, because I think for your next acting role, you're going to need to be a Care Bear. <laughs> okay. Because I've got the perfect outfit for her. This is the only outfit that's actually got any vibrant coral on it. I think that this will do quite nicely. It doesn't have rainbows and hearts on it, but it does have stars on it. And the colors work, I think. I think that works quite well. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, let's swap the hair around. <laughs> and let's put this little, oh, put the bear helmet on Andrea. That is blinking adorable. That is so, so cute. Oh, look. Oh, oh, see, look, they do love each other. All right, I have something else I really want to show you too. I have another rainbow tile here. And when you put two of them together, you make a full half rainbow. Actually, is that correct? Can you even say a full half rainbow? But that's normally how we see a rainbow as a half. And that's when we see it as full. Oh my goodness, that's confusing. But I just want all of these rainbow tiles. I think they're amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay. There are so many cool pieces in these little minifigure sets. This guy, oh, look at his argyle pants <laughs> in green and red. And he's got a green shirt and he's got one face on the, the face of, hi, I'm the guy in the pizza suit on the corner trying to get you to come in and buy some pizza. Please buy some pizza. Here's his notice board. So $1 for pizza and $1 for, what is that? $1 for a deconstructed hamburger. This, it's like a hamburger with no bun and chips. Oh, no, hold on. It's chicken parmigiana. It's going chicken parmesan. It does kind of look like the inside of a hamburger though. 
doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so he's out here trying to entice you into buying pizza, and I think that's totally gonna work, but I think Belle is wearing the right colors to be a pizza selling guy today. Plus, Belle loves pizza, doesn't she? Does Belle love pizza? I'm making it up. So Belle might not love pizza, but she does now. And we're going to muck about with her outfit a bit. Maybe these green pants, which I painted for Snow White, and this green top, we're not going to see most of it because it's going to be underneath the pizza. Yeah, so it'll just be the green arms. Oh, look! Pizza guy looks great in Belle's hair! <laughs> and she looks... Uh, okay, there's probably too much green. Maybe we should swap the pants out for the yellow... Actually, I think that would go really nicely. Actually, that looks really good. So the yellow now matches the yellow on the pizza. It's very important to be color coordinated. Let's see if I can get her to hold this sign. There we go, look! Belle's now the pizza guy, or the pizza girl. She's selling the pizza, and which means this guy here, he can go home. Yeah, there we go. Take your little agar pants, and he can go home. And Belle is now in charge of trying to get everyone to come in and buy pizza from the pizza shop. Let's put her over here. Nobody's looking though. Nobody's interested. That's okay because we can open up the next bag. <laughs> oh, it's another one of the little costumed critters. This is the fox girl. Look at this tail. That's really cute. Not going to fit on a mini doll though. Oh, look at this. Oh, two different faces. That is a super sly looking face. And the chicken. The chicken that she is really, really keen for because she's a fox, right? Maybe she's already got a chicken in the bag. It's like the fox went out on a chilly night. All right, so maybe she's got a duck and a goose in there. Or I don't know. Maybe she's got all of the poultry in there, but she's not going to have it for long because Tiana. Oh, Tiana, when did you turn up? So Tiana is going to be the fox girl. How are we going to make that happen? Because Tiana is very excited about this, but her outfit is very green. And I don't think, I don't have a single mini doll outfit that is this really, really pumpkin orange. So we're going to have to make do with these lighter orange pieces and just see whether this can work. <laughs> this is as good as the orange gets, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't know that that works so well. Her eyes look really vivid through that mask, though. I need a better outfit for Tiana as the fox girl, but... The fox girl actually looks really cute in Tiana's hair. <laughs> She's wandered off. All right, so, okay, fox girl, not the biggest success, but we did find some orange pieces, and we're just playing dress up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> She's having fun. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I hope you're having fun. Okay, let's see what's in. There's a tail in here. The bag we've got. Oh, this one is the Monkey King. The Monkey King from Chinese mythology, which you know, every time I saw, like I saw this minifigure in the pictures, all I could think of was monkey magic. <laughs> monkey magic, monkey magic. There, look, we're gonna put that face on. I'm pretty sure monkey magic was was based on the Monkey King from the, the mythology. Anyway, oh, the Monkey King, he's monkey magic, which means he's gonna need his staff, his staff, so that he can like he he, he can well he can use that as a weapon. All right. So we've got some extra pieces here and a very, very resplendent looking Monkey King with a grin that I would not trust. Now, who's going to be the Monkey King? Who is up for a challenge? Who's got ginger hair? I think that Anna is always up for a challenge and she's got ginger hair. So let's see whether we can make her uh, to the Monkey King. He looks so cute with her plaits though. <laughs> cute Monkey King. Right, okay, so pants and top. This is the best I could do. It's entirely the wrong style of top and pants, but uh, but the colors, the colors are, are working. <laughs> Red and black and gold. And she's got all of his accessories now, so Anna is now the Monkey King. The Monkey King can just go, on, go and do some incognito mischief because nobody will know who he is while well, he's got Anna's plats on. Let's open up the next bag. It's the puppies and the poop. The poop, I've just touched all the poop. Let's put the sitter together. So this is the puppy sitter, or the dog sitter, or the dog walker. And she has got, put her head on first, she's got this face, and she's got this face. This is the face <laughs> that, that tells you that she is smelling something stanky. Totally stanky, which is this new poop piece. Oh, actually, there's two poop pieces, which is lucky because there's two dogs. So we've got a little dachshund, which is a brand new puppy dog. And we've got a French bulldog. Is this a French bulldog? And he's done a poop too. So poops are everywhere. There are poops Arama, and she's got a green shovel to clean that up. And Emma wants to be, seriously, you want to be in on this? Well, she's wearing the overalls, and she looks very, very cute in the hat. And that's basically all we have to do to turn Emma into the poop scooper. <laughs> the dog sitter. Right, she's got two dogs and two poops. 
and an ice cream cone? No! But yes, look at that! The poops make perfect ice creams! <laughs> Are you ever going to be able to see it as anything other than poop though? <laughs> Don't eat that, Emma. We can put that in the bowl, look, see? Is it a poop or is it ice cream? We'll never know! <laughs> okay, I'm totally disturbed by that. <laughs> Let's take the bowl away. But we'll leave Emma with her poop ice cream. She can decide what she wants to do with that while we see who this guy all in black is. He looks splendid. He's shiny. Oh, and he's got like shoulder armor. And his head has got like a socket on the back. Does he plug in? He looks happy. He looks very happy. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay, maybe he's not so happy. This is the Galactic Bounty Hunter, and I definitely think he's enhanced. That'd be the plug that's on the back. He's got he's got his space gun, and he's got his information. His wanted built or broken reward. Oh, the poor little Lego minifigure that he's busy hunting. Okay, well, I reckon this might be a job for Lashina because she's already super, super grumpy and she <laughs> wouldn't take too much to turn her into a galactic bounty hunter. In fact, I think, uh, well, I think that well, this is the only choice we have because she's the only one who's got kind of space armory looking outfit. But she looks, looks pretty good. No, we can't see her at all. Okay. All right, we need some more substantial armor, I think. <laughs> but Lishin is just going to have to do as our mini doll version of the Galactic Bounty Hunter. I like saying that, Galactic Bounty Hunter. She's got the clipboard with all the information. Would that be clipboard like the screen? And the Bounty Hunter just skipped off because all of his responsibilities are now being given over to Lishina. And we've got to open up the next bag, which has got... Looks like a plaid... Oh, binary code! Binary code on her shirt? Oh... She's like a computer geek. She's got a white laptop. Nicey. That's nice. Okay, and here's her hair. All right, so that's what, that's her messy bun. Top knot messy bun. And she's, she, okay, so maybe not just a computer geek. She might be a, like a programmer because she's built this little puppy dog robot. <laughs> oh, that's really, really adorable. Oh, that's really cute. I wonder if she could hold the laptop like in one hand. I've never actually tried. I can't I can't open these things. <laughs> Need to use the brick separator to get it open. Okay, that's a bit loose, but we can kind of like balance it on the side. There we go. All right. Olivia is is the absolute definite choice for this. She's going to put a cup of tea down. She's going to come and knock over the poor gamer. No, she's not a gamer. The the programmer girl. And we can't take her binary code shirt, but she does look really, really good in that, that messy bun do. And she's already got a shirt with little space invaders on, so that'll do nicely. All right, that is so cute. I like that hair on Olivia. I think it suits her really well. <laughs> now she's playing with a puppy and our program is out of here because we've stolen all her stuff. Taken the credit for all of her work. Okay, how many bags we got left to go? We can't have many now. So we've got, this is the mummy, the Egyptian mummy. And she's beautiful. Her wrapping's starting to come undone. We've got like a proper mask and well, the mummy underneath the mask. I like this one. I like the ceremonial mask and I like that hairpiece, that headpiece in, in teal. And she's got a gold scorpion. Uh, I think Jasmine's going to want to be the Egyptian queen. I think that would be lovely. I would love an Egyptian mini doll. Wouldn't that be cool? Right, so let's swap over the... Oh, I forgot I sticky tacked her hair on. But the Jasmine hairpiece is actually very loose. So I'll put a bit of sticky tack under it to hold it on. She looks very, very nice with that headdress on. Let's see whether this outfit here, because it's all white doesn't really look anything like mummy bandages maybe we just maybe we'll swap over the legs and no that looks worse I think uh, maybe just back to the white the white yeah the white skirt she was wearing before that I think looks pretty good though she got very bare legs for a mummy I don't think she got wrapped very effectively Oh my goodness, we are up to the last one, which means we finally get the flamingo, the lawn ornament flamingo. I want a whole flock of these. But the minifigure that comes with the flamingo is hilarious. Look at the questionable fashion choices on this Florida grandma. She mixes her prints and she's got blue eyeshadow to go with her red glasses. She's just rocking all the colors, plus a lilac beehive for her hairdo. She's got green gardening gloves on because she is out in the garden because... Perfect weather for gardening all year round and to put as many flamingos on your lawn as possible. 
that flamingo is epic. I just love that flamingo so much. All right, so mini doll Florida grandma has got to be Dottie. She's already got the red glasses. We just need it. Okay, we need to, well, we might use this shirt because though I think her shirt would probably do all right, but it's just a little bit too dapper. Like she looks a bit too dressed up. So let's swap this over with the tropical print shirt. <laughs> Don't have any animal print pants, but she's just going to have to look slightly more color coordinated than the original Florida grandma. They look like they're out there gardening together. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, the flamingo is so cute. All right, that is the whole of the series 19 minifigures all dressed up as mini dolls. I think that it turned out really, really epically. Do you have a particular character that you want to collect or a particular accessory that you want? <laughs> like maybe the poop or the flamingo? Let me know in the comments and I will be back with a new video very, very soon. So make sure you check back in and, and then you'll find one. <laughs> See you then. Bye.